Watch you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to clone or back up your operating system with a Macrium uh, Reflect. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get our free software which we can use a uh, Macrium uh, Reflect software, it's free to download and uh, this is going to allow us to make a clone of our drive or make an image of our drive. Okay. Now clone is basically going to mirror the whole drive completely so you can put that onto a new drive so if your old drive is full up and you want to upgrade for instance if you have a 250 gig drive and you now want to install a 500 gig drive you can copy the 250 gig and put that straight onto a brand new to a 500 gig drive by using the clone method okay so let's uh, get started anyway so I've got the uh, installation file here I'm going to install this now this is an awesome bit of software and it's free also so I'm just going to go through the motions here you can see the key is there I'm going to go next you can register if you wish I'm going to install this for all users and then go next and then install so once this is installed we're going to be able to create a clone or an image of our drive. Okay, so that's now finished. So we've now finished with the installer. We now want to click on our reflect icon. But before I do that, let me just show you we've got our drive plugged in here, and this is our actual operating system with our actual. Uh, partitions that we've created here so first thing we need to do is fix our new drive so it's uh, ready so if I go to start control panel and then administrative tools and then computer management inside here you'll see disk management click on that and once you've done that you should see a drive that you've got plugged in okay and it's unallocated so we're going to right click on this and make this as a new simple volume click next now I'm just going to go straight in and use the whole drive here okay we can call this clone if you wish or whatever you want to do go next and then finish and that will quickly format and give that a name called clone so we're ready now to proceed we can close these off don't need those anymore and what we want to do here is click on the uh, reflect icon this is going to open up Macarim reflect and straight away it's going to prompt you to create a rescue CD or USB drive and this is very important because if anything goes wrong you'll be able to recover and put your system back so it's always advisable to create this I'll go through the steps with you now just to make sure you know what you're doing we need to do is click on yes and you can choose between Linux or Win, uh, Windows PE so I'm going to do the Windows PE version here go next and it will go through the motions and then try to find your uh, CD-ROM drive or USB thumb drive that you're using okay and you can see here this is what you're going to get it will create a, a WIM file and then it will go through and it asks you to do 64-bit or 32-bit uh, and then all you need to do is burn this to your uh, DVD or USB flash drive if it's plugged in okay so I'm going to finish this off I've done mine already say so so here we can see our drive here now this is our drive that's empty and this is our system that we're using that we want to clone and update now you could clone the whole lot of this if the drive is big enough or you could just uh, take out what you need okay so I'm just gonna take out this storage area here I don't want that and I don't want this so I just want the C drive windows and I want the system reserved part okay 
Now once I've done that, I've took the ticks out to what I need. You can put yours in and copy the whole lot across. So if you've got your recovery partition there, hidden one, you can copy that as well and create your own rescue CD. You've also got these little tabs down here, image this disk, clone this disk. Cloning, as you can see here, it's going to make a complete copy of that drive. So if you clicked on this, we're going to make a, a clone of this. Go next. And it's now saying uh, select the actual disk here. So we're going to select it to this. Okay, so now we've got our two ones that we're going to be cloning and it's going to go to our H clone drive. I'm going to go next here. Make sure you've got the tick in the copy selected partitions. Okay, next. And uh, what we're going to do here is just let that do its thing. I'm going to click finish here. It's going to give you a warning and say that uh, it's going to be overwritten. I'm going to continue this. It's going to create a volume snapshot and then go through the motions here and copy that across. This may take a bit of time. So just go make yourself a cup of tea and let that do its thing. Okay, so that's the clone now complete. Now there's a couple of important things here that we want to make sure that we do. So I'm going to click OK there. And it says here clone complete uh, for 38 minutes, as you can see. But you've got to remember I was only cloning uh, a couple of partitions here. Now there is an important step here to, to remember is if you're cloning, you want to make sure that when you clone something, that you can cl clone the whole drive really uh, into there. But you see I only cloned these two partitions here the actual windows partition I didn't do the storage area and that's okay but really if you're cloning uh, to upgrade you want to clone the whole drive okay so if you as you can see this is a terabyte drive here um, and this one here is only a 500 gig so you want to use a bigger drive that you're cloning to as well that's the reason why I only did these two partitions just to show you okay so Inside here you can see it's a mirror image of what we've done here now. We've got a mirror image of this and this. It's exactly like that. And uh, when I re if I change this out now and reboot to this, we would actually reboot and go straight into this Windows operating system. So I will make another video and show you how to do the image here. And that will be in another video. So what we're going to do here is close this off for a second. And we're going to go into our area here you can see local disk if you look inside here you'll see this is cloned the whole Windows operating system and all the program files like for like okay so that's basically how you clone uh, an image onto another drive so if I if this was uh, equal size I could now swap this out and uh, do that you can also do it to um, this is actually inside the computer itself as a slave drive but you could actually do it to a USB a USB um, hard drive dock station like a toaster and clone straight to that as well of course it will be a little bit slower to clone across a USB uh, connection it's much faster to do it inside the machine like this but you can see it does work rather well So one more important thing before you go is to make sure that your system is clean before you clone it, clear out any junk files. So I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. And uh, I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll see you again in the next one. So take, take care. Bye for now.